Uh, want to kill you? You want to kill the child? Uh, Out of that body. That body is no longer your house. You see the way it's shaking here. You want to come fight me? That pain line is over today. Mrs. Blessing Ijoma, a 44-year-old woman, came to Faith and Miracle International Church looking so weak and disheartened. She suffered from paralysis and a prolapsed uterus which made her unable to walk, pass urine or even feces without an aid for several months. After being to many hospitals, there was no improvement which made her come to a conclusion that it was only God who could bring her out of the situation. Though she was healed of paralysis, she still waited on God to perfect her healing. My name is Penny Joma. I'm a teacher. Well, I'm healed. Thank God. Thank they held center at a hotel. Uh, they gave me injection and the team became access. So after the access, I found out that I could not walk very well with the right leg. But this last four months, I, could, I found out that I could not walk again. My legs were paralyzed. I need to go through operation because there is something like ball that come out of my private parts, blocking the urinary tract and the, my anus so that I won't be able to pass the uh, feces. You can see I'm using catheter. I can't, I can't urinate myself. And I can't pass feces myself. I said they put hand and bring out some feces so that just to use the body. I'm using diapers now, in case the feces is coming out, I can't control it. When I was discharged from the hospital, that our money, the money we pay had lapsed, I was not coming home to die, but I was coming home to meet with God. I know that there is a place I must be to meet with God. The man of God came to the healing line at Faith and Miracle International Church to minister to the sick, the bound and those oppressed by the devil. As he ministered, several people received instantaneous healings in their bodies. He walked up to Mrs. Blessing Ijama where she sat on the healing line. He touched her and immediately she stood to her feet and started walking. This was the first miracle she experienced in church. She was able to walk again after paralysis of four months. Due to partial paralysis, as we can see, the woman is moving that leg. Thank you, Jesus. Show me let your presence fall on me. My name is Blessed Nichoba. I give God the glory for giving me the grace to be able to come out to testify to his goodness. Somebody asked me to come to the church. That was four months or five months ago. That was June, June 6th. Because I was paralyzed. From my waist downward, I was paralyzed. And there is a, a kind of a growth that came out of my um, private parts, blocked the urinary system and also the anus. So I cannot urinate myself. I cannot pass physics myself. For almost a month, I was like that till I was taken to Jericho. From Jericho, they need to pass catheter so that I'll be able to um, urinate. But 
I cannot pull. I stayed for months without going to toilet. So later from Jericho, I was referred to, they said they cannot do it. I need a specialist. So I was asked to go to UCH. From UCH, as on our way to UCH, the people that took me to, that want to take me to UCH said there is a specialist at Podida, Bod Med was the name of the hospital, that we should go there. We got there, the man said we should pay 400,000. Why? Before then, we've spent over 300,000. And he said, before he will commence any treatment, that I need to pay 400,000 for four weeks. I don't have that, that kind of money. I was just looking onto God. So from there, they took me. We could not gather the money, so I need to live there. So we left there. They took me to a natural um, remedy home where they give, they treat people with food and herbs. The same thing. So they need to, that growth was becoming so big that I cannot, I cannot even sit down. So I need, they need to take me back to UCH. So the day we went to UCH was the day they, um, they strike. So there was no doctor to attend to me. I need to look for a place to stay. So they look around, there was no place. Even the floor was filled up in UCH. I was crying. Oh Lord, is this how I'm going to die? Because I cannot lift any part of my body again. Then we, as we look around the whole UCH, there was no place, even table. There was no table to put me there so that they can, the specialist would be able to attend to me. There was no table. So I need to go. But somebody met us and said there is a doctor in, the, in UCH that is living in my area. I live at Akbete. That is living in my area that she have an hospital there that if they can take me there, she will be able to take care of me till the time they would resume. And we were there for a week. There was nothing, nothing was changing. It was as if one is just, before she took me in, we were asked to pay 40,000 just for that week. Not that she can cure me, just to um, change catheter and give me some other drugs. So we were there for a week. After seven days, she said I should go home. I was crying. I said, God. Is it not going home to die? I have children, five children, little, little children. My parents, nobody is attending to me. It's only my husband and the church we were going. And there was nothing, even to feed the children, because we have spent everything. So I said, God, please, have mercy on me. If I die, nobody to take care of my children. Even I'm not yet dead. They started sharing the children. The family have started taking the children one after the other. Even till now, as I'm talking, my two children are still outside. And I thank God that when I came home, I met a sister from Akbete. She said she had been here. So I, I know that I'm paralyzed. I cannot walk. I was telling them that how am I going to, how am I going to come to this place? My husband said I shouldn't worry. And he helped me. We came to this place. My husband and my son, they carried me in. I could not walk. When the man of God touched me, he prayed with me. And when I got home that week, the legs that were paralyzed, I was able. That is why I'm standing here today. If you are putting those hands together, can you jam those hands together very well for Jesus? Then after some time, the growth, I was worried. I said, Father, I want to be healed completely, not only my legs. I want the growth in my vagina to go back. So I did not come to church. I was praying. Then the lady came back to check me. And she was surprised to see me walking. She was very happy. And she said, what about the other part? I told her that this is what is wrong. I want this growth to go back. And I know God can do it. She decided to come back because she believed that the God that healed her of paralysis the first time through his servant, Senior Prophet G.F. Aditubero, will definitely do it again. When I came, they said, I should go to a place to sit down. And I went there. I sat down there. I was crying. I was weeping. God, even if I'm inside the hole, you will, f you will fish me out today. And I was with catheter. I am tired of this catheter. I don't want to carry catheter again. 
for seven months. I need to change it every week. My body system has changed. I am not like human beings. Right where I was sitting down, the man of God just said, you this woman, come out. So he asked me to come out. And he said, what is wrong with you? And I told him that I can walk now. But what I want God to do is to perfect my healing. And I told him. And he laid his hand on me and prayed for me. And he said, I will come back and give testimony. Come on, Madam in Blue, please, I want to talk to you. You have been attacked. What happened to you? Past physics myself. The time I came here, that was two months ago. Since that time, I've been walking straight now. So we we'll talk about what is remaining now. Yes. So I can't wait to hear her testimony. Now looking more radiant than before, Mrs. Blessing Ijoma continued to share her testimony to the glory of God. So that was on Wednesday. Then on Sunday, there was a sister that was calling me. I gave them my number that was calling me from the church. I'm surprised. I've never seen a church that they will call you. I've never seen it. I've never heard of it. So ask if I'll be in church. And I came on on Tuesday, but there was no, I was not giving grace because my reports were not with me. So I need to come back today. That Sunday morning, the sister called me and said, please, the man of God said you should remove the catheter. I said, ah, remove what? How am I going to urinate? And I remember the word of God that says, if we believe in the prophet, we shall prosper. And that word just rang into my heart. I said, this is the word God has sent to me. I should remove this catheter. And I removed the catheter. From that morning till 10 o'clock in the night, I did not urinate. I was feeling the bones in my body. The next, that night, I was able to urinate a little. But I knew that is the beginning of my healing. So immediately... Immediately, my husband was, because he was troubled the way I was feeling, he said, Mommy, do you know what we should do? Maybe we should call somebody, put the catheter, and maybe the urine that is inside the bladder should come out. I said, don't worry, I am okay. He said, are you okay? The way you are doing, I said, yes, God is in control. I'm okay. I give glory to God that since Sunday till today, I did not use the catheter. And I urinate. Somebody keep clapping for Jesus. Ma, we rejoice with you, Ma. Thank you. We say that this healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. When you were introduced to church, you came and suddenly you could walk. Then later you came last week, Wednesday. Yes. And here you are, giving glory to God. So can you tell us how much you pay on the healing line? Or you gave to the man of God? Nothing. For, no. Are you saying, are you telling everybody or people watching us all over the world that here you are, Jesus Christ healed you free of charge? Yes. Wow. If you are glad to hear that, pull those hands together and appreciate Jesus. A lot of people on the healing line again tonight so many people too are watching us all over the world they are believing God for healing and they are looking at you just the way you are today thanking God for what he has done for you on this mountain please can you give us a little word of advice yes I want to advise them that when you are coming you come with your faith that you are going to see Jesus not man Yes, he, Jesus, in the life of our prophet, not him that you are coming to meet. What can you say about the God that you encounter on this mountain? He is God forever because all the money, everything, no, they could not tell me what is wrong with me. But, and they could not heal me. But I came the first time Jesus healed my legs. 
my legs that were gone forever. God's re I was God maybe he removed another leg for me. I give God the glory. Jesus restored that. Somebody yes. clap for Jesus. Anointed by God with the Holy Spirit, ready for action, is helping people and healing everyone who was beaten down by the devil. He is able to do all this because God is with him. Please subscribe, follow and like our pages on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. God bless you. It is well, so well, with your soul.